Hello. Okay, this is like the uh, the second or third attempt that I've had to make this video. I tend to run over the allotted time limit by uh, uh, YouTube, so I'm going to keep it really sweet. Um, <clears throat> as you can see from my screen here, I have a working installation of XBMC. This is what I consider to be a good install. I'm very happy with it, and I want to put this on other devices. Um, inside the programs menu I have installed an additional application it's called the USB SD card wizard and it's available from the unity talk uh, repositories um, I've installed this as an application what I do is I configure this application and specify a you know a location to you know back up my files now I'm not going to do a backup because it takes too long um, for the, the amount of time that I've got for YouTube, I don't have a full account yet, so I'm limited on time. But basically what this will do is it will create a zip file in this directory, one single file called backup.zip, of which is a full uh, backup of everything on XBMC, um, add-ons, plugins, uh, repositories, uh, any changes to the configs, advanced settings like XML, etc. It's all going to be in there. <clears throat> now when you're doing this on an Android box or a Pi obviously you change this location to suit back it up to your USB key um, and then basically present it that way um, when we when we go into uh, the application to do a backup we have two options we have backup and restore a backup gives you these options and as always you should always do a full backup unless of course you just want to copy over sort of basic settings um, why I don't know you'd want to do that I mean, certainly if you're replicating your build, you'd want to use a full backup. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, now blank my system. This is a Windows box, um, and the reason it's Windows is because I need to record the, the screen. Uh, I'm going to go into XBMC Fresh Start. I want to restore the config back to the way it was. So I want to do a fresh installation of XBMC. Um, it's quicker than me uninstalling it and reinstalling it. <clears throat> that's done now because XBMC was obviously running at the time of doing this um, you have to force close it so I force closed it what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to clear out the uh, directory so you could so I can prove that I've you know not left anything lying behind um, app data roaming I think I've just killed XBMC <laughs> let's try it No, nope, XBMC is fine. <coughs> I'm always dubious about deleting folders inside XBMC, just in case. So anyway, uh, this is my default installation of XBMC. As you can see, updates are, are happening. Um, what we need to do is we need to install um, the USB SD card wizard application. Um, on my USB key, I have this installed so that when I'm doing the replication to other boxes, I can literally just load everything off the USB key. <clears throat> so removable disk, plugin, wizard install. We come out of this menu, we go to programs. You'll see that it's now installed. I'm going to specify the location of where my file is kept. Android Pi guys, obviously you will select your um, location for your uh, USB key, which is external storage, external underscore storage, SDA1 for a USB key that's in an emulated file system <coughs> a Pi is obviously Linux you'll do things in a different way um, I don't have a Pi that I have tested this on um, because I just don't use the Pi for that um, I have used Pi with XBMC it's very good but I've not moved my method across however I have sent my installation which is for sale to people and they have installed it on Pi and it works fine um, however, um, Pi guys, I, I'm well aware that you have extra custom settings that you wish to keep on. So whilst this is restoring, the reason for creating this video is I'm a member of a couple of groups on Facebook, uh, one in particular XBMC users. Um, there was a discussion from a guy that said, look, I create and I sell many boxes and each time I build the box it takes me sort of 10, 15, 20 minutes to create it and I have to manually add the repos. Is there any way that I can replicate this? There were a couple of options. One of the options was just copying the folder of XBMC and pushing it across each time. And there's nothing wrong with that. I, for a, for a long time, was doing that. Um, the problem with it, though, I find is that the XBMC um, folder structure is so deep within the Android environment, and this guy was using Android, 
um, that when you use the Android file manager you have to select folders to copy and if you forget to unselect it you'll start you know selecting the whole folder tree and then the paste goes wrong anyway it, it becomes a bit of a nightmare so the quickest way to do it is to do it inside XBMC so by loading this plugin and doing the restoration this way and doing the backup in the original sense of your master image you have the ability to basically unplug a box take it out of the box and plug it in as it were um, put in the USB key start XBMC install this application do a restoration restart XBMC and away you go that's it. it doesn't take long at all the slowest point is the point that it takes for you to restore back now that depends on how fast your USB bus is or how fast your USB key is for me at the moment I'm doing this obviously on local disk because it's easier to display um, I'm not taking anything away from anyone that wants to do it in any other ways and if you want to do it manually then by all means do it manually I just think that if you can save time and save money by automating this process or making it as streamlined as possible you're going to maximize your, your costs <clears throat> so um, what I've done here as you can see it's, it's exited out the application um, if we go into system settings and skin we'll see that my skin is available so I'm going to select my skin now this is my skin but I'm not happy with it I don't think it's my running version yet so I'm going to exit out of XBMC restart XBMC you'll now see that I've got my splash screen and this is my installation but it hasn't gone quite right so why is that again you are making changes to a live file system okay as the file system is running sometimes you get uh, one of three outcomes one XBMC will crash and um, but it will restore all of your files two because the files are being read, read and read and read and written, get my teeth in, at the same time, you'll find that not all of the changes have been applied. The file system is there, your add-ons are there, and your plugins are there, but your skin settings might not necessarily be there. Because the skin is the thing that's always constantly being read, um, I found that it might not pick up those changes immediately. You may have to do a restoration again. The third option is that everything is going to be fine. Now, nine times out of ten or eight times out of ten shall I say everything is fine occasionally I have had to do this again um, but you don't have to do everything again you just go back into the SD card wizard you do a restore select full restore again wait a few moments <clears throat> it'll be a lot quicker this time because what it's actually doing is it's actually going oh, okay there's changes here and I know that these files are already here I'm just gonna copy the changes across so we'll just let that continue on nearly finished la 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 I hate silences I'm sorry about this guys um, if by the way you like anything I've done on my videos or you're happy with the method that I've given you here and it's going to save you time and also increase your funds feel free to donate some money to me I very happily take your cash from you on PayPal uh, my PayPal address is info at android tv boxes boxes .co uk. nominal amounts up to you just you know just to say thank you now as you can see one of the methods of the, of the the application being restored has actually happened XBMC has crashed it's this is fine this happens so all we need to do is just close it now I'm on Windows obviously so Windows is a bit difficult to sometimes close down let's start the task manager that usually frees it up so go back into XBMC go away task manager now I'm happy with it that's my installation yep there we go <clears throat> so the process is back, create a master image back it up take a new box install the plugin do a restore restart if it hasn't worked first time 
do the restore again now you may ask why do I not just copy the folders over it's a lot easier it's a lot quicker I'm, I'm guaranteed to get a result yes you are but you can mess things up this is a f I'm not going to say it's a 100% guaranteed way of doing it but it certainly is a very good way of doing it anyway uh, I've made myself look like a bit of a dick now anyway by it crashing on me regardless so I'm going to end this video here upload it to YouTube feel free to comment if you have any questions feel free to just give me a shout thanks a lot guys take care